Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today I want to show you how you can upload any image you find online into Cricut Design Space. Uh, there's a couple tools that you'll use to do this. Um, if you are using a PC with Windows, you're going to use this snipping tool. That's the little icon for it down there. Um, if you have a Mac, you're going to use the grab feature. The tutorial, which I'll link to if you just look up in the top right hand corner, there's a link to the tutorial. The tutorial will go over how to use the Mac grab feature. Uh, this video is only going to show the Windows snipping feature. Okay, so first of all, how to pull in any image you want. So I went over to Amazon here and I found uh, this cup that I wanted. Oh, I have that cup too. Um, this cup that I wanted to take a photo of and put it into Design Space so that I could show what it would look like if I put the decal on it. So um, I have my snipping tool pinned to my um, taskbar here, but if you don't, you're going to come over here to your search box and just type in snipping tool. I didn't even get it all typed in. It's the first thing that pulled up. So come up here and click your snipping tool app. And then you're going to get this little menu over here. You want to, uh, there's a few things that you can do. If you look at this mode, you can um, take a full screen shot. You can take uh, screenshots of different windows, but we want to leave it to what it's set at, which is rectangle snip. Um, and then you'll want to click new. So you can see after you click new, your screen kind of grays out a little bit and your cursor turns into a crosshair. Just drag and drop your crosshair to whatever it is you want your picture of, and that's it. That's what I'm going to be saving the picture of. Come over to File, Save As, name it whatever you want to name it, and save it wherever you want to save it. I'm just going to put this on my desktop. So now it's there. Um, you can do this with literally any image you find online. Anything you want, you can use your snipping tool or your grab feature if you have a Mac and save it as a JPEG or a PNG. Um, you shouldn't always do that because most of the images you find are going to be copyrighted or trademarked um, and you don't want to steal someone else's work. But there are a lot of things this is useful for. Um, this video is basically just going over showing you how to do that. So there's your snipping tool. If you come back over to Design Space um, and you want to upload the photo that you just saved, you're going to come to Upload, Upload Images, Browse, and then go look for that photo that you saved. Here it is right here. I'm going to upload it into Design Space. Now, what you want to do from here is select Complex and Continue. And then you need to get rid of everything that you don't want in your photo. Of course, I don't want this badge, this 100 set. So I'm going to take my eraser. I'm going to make it a lot bigger. And I'm just going to erase this whole thing here. Perfect. And now I can go back to just my select tool and get rid of all the white around everything. And that looks like it did everything else for me. So I hit continue. And with these, um, depending on what you want to do, you can save it as a cut image if you're just wanting to get this outline and cut it. But for me, I would save it as a print then cut image and just click save. Then I want to upload it into my project, so I select it here and insert into project. There it is. In all its glory without the little badge that was up there. And for mine, I just um, wrote my name out in a font that I liked and put it on the cup. Um, I want to show you another one I did. Let's see. So here's that other cup that I had in the beginning on Amazon that I showed you. And with this one, it was just one cup. Watch, see it's just this one cup here. 
And once I got it sized the way I wanted it, I just duplicated it um, four times to get this whole set of cups. And when I turn this background off, or when I turn my grid lines off, let me make this a little bit smaller. You see, I could actually use this as a product mock-up if I take my snipping tool and save that. Now I have a product mock-up. I don't have these physical cups right now. Um, I ordered them, but they aren't in yet. So I made this mock-up and I put the names on them and I can actually put this online to display what these cups would look like with the names on them. And I made that mock-up right from Design Space with my snipping tool. It works just the same with your grab tool. Um, that's really how you do it. Any image you find online, you can do this. Like I said, though, you, you shouldn't always do that. If you're if you found an SVG that you love or a clip art that you think is great and you want to put it in a project to sell, that's illegal. <laughs> you need to pay for the SVG or the clip art because, I mean, someone took their time to create it. And it's really just not fair to go and snip it or grab it and use it for monetary gain. But anything for personal use, um, things that you have purchased, you can upload and do this with. Um, you know, just use your best judgment, and that's all that is. Um, that's all we have for today. Thanks.